Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is your friend Shinobi, and in today's video, we're gonna check out iOS 16 specifically on the second generation iPhone SE because you don't really get all the features which are available for the higher end iPhones like the 13 series on the iPhone SE. So, yeah, we're gonna check exactly what you get with iOS 16. I've installed the beta on my iPhone SE 2020 and I'm gonna tell you how to install the beta and what features are you gonna get on your iPhone SE if you decide to do the same or whenever you get the complete public build of iOS 16 on your iPhone. All right, so without wasting any more time, let's get started. So let's just first check how you can install iOS 16 beta on your iPhones right now. So in order to do that, just go to the website called as beta.apple.com the public betas are out so you can install it right away and after going to this particular website you'll see an option to sign in through your apple id just do that and afterwards scroll down and see you'll see an option called download profile just click on that download that particular profile follow all the steps and after that when you go to your settings option inside your settings you'll see an option a new option has popped up which will say as profile downloaded just go inside that and then install that particular beta profile once you install it go in the general tab in the settings and just scroll down and go to the vpn option inside the vpn option you'll see that you have the ios and ipad os 16 beta profile installed which means you are already halfway there now just go to the software update section and just refresh and you'll see an update for iOS 16 beta. Pretty cool. Now just install this and bam, you have iOS 16 beta on your iPhone SE. Now that you have installed iOS 16 on your iPhone SE, it's time to tell you what are the features that you are gonna get on it. Now the biggest change on iOS 16 is obviously the lock screen and now you can customize your lock screen according to your needs. So in order to do that, just long press on your lock screen but if you have touch id enabled on your phone it won't happen so just unlock your phone first then just scroll down the notification center and then just long press on it and once you do that you will see that a new option has popped up you'll see a lot of cards there and you can customize those and yeah these are your new lock screen cards or basically new lock screens so you can create new ones or you can customize the existing ones and as you can see i have created a lot of them already and yeah as you keep creating them they just stack up and you can use any of them at any time whenever you want and you can also attach each of these lock screens to a particular focus mode which is pretty cool now let's just create a new lock screen basically so i'm gonna go to the add option and then I'm gonna select a wallpaper and as you can see you can select from a ton of pre-installed wallpapers and options and you can also select your own photos obviously so yeah as you can see there are a ton of options and these astronomy ones are my favorites honestly because they give you a pretty cool like effect whenever you're transitioning between them and that's really nice and apart from that you do have a lot of other ones so whichever suits you just go with that or else just apply your own wallpaper so that's an option and after you have selected the wallpaper you can also edit all the text that is on the screen right now so you can mess around with the clock and all the widgets on the bottom and the top of that particular clock so you can change the font of the clock you can change the color of the clock and do all that pretty cool and on the bottom you can add up to like three or four widgets so yeah you can add a lot of widgets from different apps right now it is only limited to the apple apps but i believe later on third party apps will also be added so yeah you can add the widgets down below and you can also add few widgets on the top so i have put up a date and the weather information on the top and i have put up a few widgets on the bottom and you can also not put anything on the bottom which is completely fine so yeah and there's also a pretty cool effect so 
when you select a wallpaper which has like a separation from the background something like an uh, like i have the mountain image the mountain is separated from the sky so this particular effect comes up where it the clock basically hides itself according to the depth of the image which is really nice and it looks really cool and it changes with that particular zoom effect which is really nice and all in all this lock screen looks really cool and you can like customize it straight from this the notification center by long pressing then go into the settings go into the wallpaper option and you can do the same thing another thing that is different with the lock screen in iOS 16 is that now all your notifications will pop up from the bottom yeah that's right and if i just turn off my do not desktop mode you'll see that all of the notifications will come from the bottom which is really nice and you can also change how you want to see these notifications so you can select between like notification numbers stacks and another option so yeah you have three options you can select between any of those i have selected the notification count option so it shows how many notifications are there and when you tap on that particular option you will see that all of your notifications pop up you have to pinch in in order to squeeze them back which is really cool and another cool feature is that there is a new music player on the lock screen so whenever you're playing something on your any music player it comes up in the full screen and it looks really cool and if you tap on the album art it will shrink down and it will show you wallpaper and when you again tap on the album art it will go to the full screen mode and this full screen music player looks amazing honestly and yeah you have a like progress bar you can like scroll the music through this and you can inter interact with it which is pretty cool and it looks really nice so all in all the lock screen has been like revamped i would say and it looks absolutely amazing right now so yeah this is the biggest change that you will get with iOS 16 on your iphone se and apart from this you will get that particular image option where you can just tap on any image and you can just drag it and paste that particular png anywhere so yeah this works for most things which have a separation between the foreground and the background so yeah the ai works really nicely and it separates the background very well and yeah i am surprised how well it works so yeah this is a pretty useful feature and apart from this there's also the live text feature for videos right now on ios 16 but it unfortunately doesn't really work on the iphone 13 due to hardware limitations and there's also the new option to like unsend messages or edit messages in iMessage but iMessage is not really working on my iPhone SE right now so I can't really show it to you but it's really cool you can basically edit any message or unsend any message within 15 minutes of sending it on iMessage which is really cool honestly and right now if you have the iPhones which have face ID you can just unlock the phone in landscape mode also which is really cool so we don't have to worry about it because on the iphone se we do have touch id and also as you can see the spotlight search option menu is a little different right now the search bar comes from the bottom and the animation has been done really well it looks really clean and whenever you swipe down it just pops up from the the icons pop up from the top and the search bar pops up from the bottom and it's very seamless and looks really nice and another big feature that has been added to iOS 16 is haptic feedback to your Apple keyboard. Yeah, that's right. They finally did it. They finally added haptic feedback to the Apple keyboard, to the iOS keyboard. And it is a very incredible thing. Why? Because Apple has some of the biggest, like craziest haptics in any smartphone. And now that the keyboard has been enabled with haptics is an incredible experience the experience just goes to the next level and we are we have been waiting for it to happen for a long time and finally apple did give us the option to turn on haptic feedback on the apple keyboard which is really nice and yeah that's pretty much it about iOS 16 on the iphone se 2020 or the iphone se second generation and yeah these are all the things that you will get if you install iOS 16 beta or the full version on your iPhone SE 
and i think more features will be added there are a lot of small things which have been tweaked here and there i'm not going to talk about everything but yeah uh, it looks pretty good all in all and everything has been like revamped and the biggest change is like the lock screen and the haptic feedback on the keyboard are one of the highlights for me so yeah that's pretty much it for this particular video if you liked it then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and definitely subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and yeah i will leave that link in the description to download the beta profiles so yeah just visit that link and download them if you want and yeah that's pretty much it for this video i'm a friend shinobi and i'm signing out peace